All right, it's time for me to try my hand at some Super Smash Bros. predictions. With the recent release of Kazuya Mishima as the 10th DLC fighter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, means we are one character away from the big finale who is scheduled for release this year. And Sakurai did say that it will be a while before that announcement, which gives us plenty of time to speculate on who that character will be. And while the short answer is, it could literally be anyone. I think Nintendo has proven to us that there are no limits on who makes it into Smash, unless you're Gino. But that being said, I still want to put my predictions out there to see if any of them make it in. And if any of them do, best believe I'm gonna brag about it on Twitter. I'll be going through what I would like the stage to be, some of the moveset, and the music I would like to see. Now I think we need to spice up the roster just a little bit. There are barely any characters that just use guns as their weapons, so what if we brought in the wielder of not enough guns? Doom Slayer. I think it would not not only be a visually interesting character to see in Smash, but also it would be cool to see how they implement all of his weapons, whether they be different attacks or they just put in the weapon wheel, which could lead to more versatility and lots of combo potential. There are lots of ways they could take him, and I'm very curious how they would tackle him. For the stage, I honestly have no ideas because I only played a few hours of Doom 2016, so I don't really have any clue what would work for a Smash stage. Also, if we got Doom music in Smash, I would be so happy. It works so well as fighting game background music in my opinion. I'll take any music from Doom, I don't care what it is. Staying on the topic of gun users, Master Chief is up there for one of the most wanted characters in Smash, and for a good reason. He would work pretty well as a Smash character. I think his regular jab would work in the same vein as Mega Man's, where you can shoot your gun while moving. And they could implement some of his other weapons he uses, like the Energy Sword, which could be his tilt attacks or a smash attack, and give him grenades as projectiles, similar to Snake. I think they could also do some cool stuff with the stage, like have something from Halo Infinite with a giant ring in the background. Or at least I think it's a ring. And then there would be a bunch of Spartans and enemies fighting in the background as well. To me that just screams Halo. And space, but that would be a bit more boring in my opinion. Now with Halo music, there are a lot of songs that I like that I want to be in Smash. Way too many in fact that I'm just gonna put a list on screen so you can read them if you'd like. This next character won't really have the same amount of impact as Master Chief or Doom Slayer. However, they are an original character from Smash, and it is none other than Taboo himself who is the final boss of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, even though he is a spirit in the game, that doesn't mean he can't join the roster. Min Min is the perfect example for this. She is also a spirit, but is now a character in the game. Taboo's design is so cool and he would work pretty well as a fighter. They can incorporate some of the attacks he uses in the final fight, and make new moves because there probably wouldn't be enough for the whole character. The stage would just be the one you fight him on because why not, it looks cool. I don't know what songs they would add since Taboo is from Smash Brothers, so maybe new remixes or something? Before we get to the final character that I want to join the roster, there are still a few I want to talk about but I don't want to spend too much time on them. So it's quickfire time. Raymond would be such a unique character to have in the roster, from his design to what his moveset could be. I want to see it happen, so Ubisoft, cough up the Rayman. I know you have him, just put him in Smash to then revive the franchise. Pretty please? I know we're all tired of the sword fighters, but after playing through Nier Automata, I realized that Tubi would be a great addition to the roster, although they would probably have to change her design just a little bit. We need more Sonic reps in Smash, and more villains, so why not add Dr. Eggman? He fits that description perfectly. Alright, that's it for the rapid fire, now on to the character that I really want to join Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and it is none other than Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I played all of the Kingdom Hearts games close to the beginning of last year, and it's now in my top 3 franchises of all time. And I know what you're thinking, we already got a Square Enix rep this fighter's pass in the form of Sephiroth, but let me tell you a secret, Sora isn't actually owned by Square, he's owned by Disney, which means he would be a Disney rep, so checkmate. I've had a long while to visualize what I want his moveset to be, and as much as I want to do a whole deep dive of it, that would make this video way longer than it needs to be, so I'll just spout the general idea of it. He would be on the fast and light side of sword fighters, with a mix of moves from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. They could also give him magic as projectiles, or do something similar to Shulk's art switch, but have it be different types of magic. Now with the music, there is so much of it that I want from Kingdom Hearts that I can't pick and choose from, so just grab a handful 
people, throw them in, and I'll be content. The stage could be a lot of things, from the Keyblade Graveyard to Scala at Kylum or the Radiant Garden, but I want to see the Station of Awakening as the stage. I personally think it would be one of the coolest looking stages in the game, because they could do a lot with it, from having the background show you different locations from the game, and they could have it randomly select from multiple characters' Station of Awakenings when choosing the stage. This next thing is something I didn't talk about for any of the other characters on this list, simply because I don't know enough about them, and that's alternate skins. Sora's could literally just be his different limit forms, which change the color of his outfit in the game, so that would translate pretty well here. Also throw in his Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 costumes while you're at it. There are lots of ways to take Sora and put him into Smash. By no means do I think this is the best way to do it, but I think I have some pretty good ideas here. However, I'm sure if he ends up in Smash, they will blow all of my ideas out of the water, and I'm excited to see if he makes it. And those are all my predictions, here's hoping some of them come true. I'm still keeping my expectations in check though, because there's no guarantee that any of these will make it in. And no matter who the final character ends up being, I'll probably still be excited. Unless it's a Pokemon. We don't need any more of them. It kind of sucks that there will be no more speculation after this last character. It was fun seeing everyone's character choices for who they wanted. However, in all the speculation videos I've watched, no one has ever mentioned Tingle. So this is my PSA to you, Nintendo. Bring back Tingle. You took him out as an assist trophy and he's nowhere to be seen. Please bring our boy home. I miss him. I also hope that Sakurai and the team get the rest they deserve after putting so much time and effort into this game over the past few years. This truly is the ultimate smash game, and it's definitely going to be hard to top it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, be sure to comment down below who you think the final character is going to be. Anyways, that does it for me. Bye for now.